Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation. Uh, excited to get back into this one and uh, and hopefully grow our city a little bit. Uh, not 100% sure where I want to go with this episode. One thing I know I want to do, one thing I know I know I know I know, is I want to rebuild the town uh, manor hall thing a little. Um, I want to give it like a courtyard and and some other thing, fun things. Uh, but that is going to cost money. Not only to build, it's going to cost money to run as well. Because these things, uh, for instance here, uh, it costs us 129 gold currently at the size it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely something we're going to have to to think about when we come. All these are set to treasury at the moment, apart from... Uh, oh, we have a scholar there. I'm not 100% sure what the scholar does. Um, where's the bailiff office? Oh, here's the bailiff. Yeah, this... Uh, what does the bailiff do again? Um, allows you to name a bailiff. Okay. Doesn't actually... Bonus provided. Happiness is less impacted by 50%. That's right, we get to pick one, don't we? I see, I see, I see. And everything else is treasury. We need more treasury because we're constantly capping out at this sort of 3,380 number. So we're going to increase that. Um, but like I say, it's going to cost something. So I do want to try and up our, our finances a little here. Look, our income and cost is pretty much the same. We're only really earning money off trade. And that's not good. I think we could make some more money off of income. So um, the way to do that is we've got, we're doing pretty well for berries. Um, we're doing pretty well for, we're not doing very well for bread. So let's have a look at our production lines then. So berries, currently we have loads of berries. That's fine. So we're selling berries. Where are we selling berries? We're selling berries here. Uh, berries there, yep. Yeah. That's fine. Berries are selling there. And we've got fish in the second slot. And then we also have a berry uh, place down here, I think. Yes, there is berries. They've sold some berries. That's good. And then obviously we have the main town as well. Um, so what I'm thinking I would like to do, maybe, is expand our, our berry selling a little bit. Somebody told me that actually people will buy whatever the first slot in a market is. Um, so we're actually got we're doing really good for fish as well. So maybe we set up over here by where the fish is fished, so to speak. Uh, we change maybe we change this one out. Um, let's edit it a little. Um, okay, let's let's do this. Let's have a food stall here because uh, it just looks like there should be one there. Okay, I'll tell you what then. That's that's not going to work. Let's. Um, Let's demolish this one. Uh, okay, uh, the bench and the fence has got to go as well. Okay. What we're going to try and do is get that food spread around so that people are buying it and um, and having fun with it. So, market, 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 market. It's classed as a monument, isn't it, of course? There we go. So, food stall. We're going to put you in here just because it looks kind of like where you should be. Okay, and that's it. We'll start construction on that, and we'll keep an eye on that, and we'll set that one to be fish because apparently people will only buy um, whatever whatever fish is. So we're not going to have any commoners just now. We'll leave that for now because I'm not too sure where we are with that. Um, so that's one market. We have a main market here. I'm thinking a uh, little market over here could probably look after these kind of houses. I think that would be quite cool. So let's build a new market here, the market, not the place, uh, with this, there's literally just going to be a couple of, of stalls here, uh, and not, not really a sort of proper market, more like somebody's just parked up um, to, oh, which one, which one snaps again, there we go, somebody's just parked up to sell some stuff, we'll put like a wagon behind them and things like that, uh, so there and there, there we go, um, some barrels in actually no we'll use the other ones because they're, they're they're free so here we go let's go for fantasy decorations um i guess we're gonna have to let those get built before we can see what we can build around them but there we go that'll set up a bit of a sort of parked up market there that will deal for these houses and again we'll put berries and fish on those um Otherwise, up here, I think these are all sort of covered pretty well from this little market here. So I'm not too worried about that just yet. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. Okay, let's get the game sped up a bit. See if this really makes any any sort of difference. This can be the first one. Because like I say, I would ideally really like to have another go at the uh, at the manor, manor hall there. Make it look like a proper sort of manor house with a courtyard and everything. But for now... 
I'm just interested in, in, in seeing this come to fruition. I might do a few of these. I quite like these, just sort of plonked around. So parts, there's already a market on there, and we're going to say you're going to be... You're going to sell fish. There it is. So apparently people will just buy fish because that's the first slot in that market. Whether that's how it works or not, I don't know, but we'll we'll keep an eye on it. That one's that finished there. And then over here, is this one finished? Yes, it is. So here, we'll actually set this one to be berries first. And then, I mean, we've got so much cheese. It seems silly not to try and flog some cheese there as well. Um... Okay, and then assign available villager, assign available villager. Okay, so that's that. Now let's make this look a little bit more like uh, what it should look like. So fantasy decorations. Um, let's go for some, uh, yeah, some barrels around the front here. Uh, maybe some, uh, where's, the, where's those sacks of grain? Is that a thing in this one? I'm sure we had, so we've got hay barrels. There's all this stuff, but this needs to really be on a wagon, doesn't it? So there we go. We'll park. We'll park that up behind, like it's, like it's part of the, uh, like it's part of it. And then we'll have some more stuff there, like that. There we go. There we go. And then that looks more like it's just a, a it's just a market stall that's that's parked up. There we go. Start construction. There we go. Come in and buy what you need. People are buying it. That's good. There we go. We've almost doubled our income there. And it's mostly based off uh, actual income as well, I think. Let's have a look. No, most of it still seems to be trade. Okay, that's fine. Uh, envoys requesting an audience. We'll keep up on these because these are good for money. 30 berries. No issues there. I don't think we necessarily need any... Uh, not army managers. State managers now. I think we're pretty much capped out on all of them. I suppose of all of those, clergy is the lower. So I suppose we'll we'll get some clergy points. Uh, I will assist the clergy with thirty berries. So let's stock stockpile berries for a moment and, uh, and get that done. Because uh, it's two hundred gold as well, which, like I say, we are pretty much capped out on at the moment. So that does mean we really need to start working on here. But I want to make sure that the infrastructure is there to cover the. The expenditure, okay. So, having a look here, then wood, we're fine. I reckon anything under a hundred, anything over a hundred, excuse me, is probably that we're doing all right. Um, so, wood's fine. Berries looking pretty good. They are going out there, but that's because, I think that's because we're stockpiling them, so I'm not too worried there. Cloth, we haven't got a load of cloth. We're doing okay for wool. So, I do wonder if maybe another cloth here is uh, is perhaps needed. So let's have a look. Where have we got that coming from? Weaver hut. One wool. There's loads of wool sat there. Look, that's the thing. And that's getting turned into clothes. So I wonder if actually the problem is that we're not turning them into clothes quick enough. Because they seem to be going out of there pretty quick. So actually, maybe another tailor's. But didn't we do that? Didn't we set up another a second tailor? Somewhere? Or did I just consider the idea? I think I may have just considered the idea of a second tailor, but I think perhaps that is something we need to do. So, uh, tailor, tailor's workshop, because I don't actually necessarily need cloth sitting there, but I do need uh, clothes completed, because that is something we are going to make money from. So where's going to be a good spot for this? We don't need, I suppose it can be close to the other one, it doesn't really matter, does it? Although it would be nice to get up here and get some and get some jobs going up here. We can always stick some cow farms here. We could actually we can actually set up a whole other system here. We might have to move a couple of these things. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's let's do it. Let's set up a, another uh, tailor set operation here. So I'll have you. You can go on the corner there. Um, to look after you, we need a uh, weaver hut. You can go next to there. There we go. And then uh, sheep farm. Sorry, I, I think I might have said cow farm before, but I didn't mean that. Uh, we've got sheep farm. There we go. Okay, so let's have a think. What, what are you doing there? You're a lumber camp. Okay, where are you cutting wood from? Let's have a look. Um, 
up here, sorry. Development zones. So extraction is pretty much this area here. Weirdly little... What are you a little bit of there? Hunting? Oh, you're hunting. There we go. So extraction can be all that. Okay, so... Yeah, for now that'll be fine. Although we will have to move you or maybe look at replanting. We are starting to run out of forest space there. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I still think we need some more sheep. So, let's have a look. Sheep farm. Let's set you up. Across the way there. Okay. Because what, what I'm hoping there is then our residential area. All of this could be totally filled in with houses. You could have four or five houses in there, couldn't you? But we don't have people working over here. That's that's the issue, you see. But it's getting there, look. That's getting there. We dropped down to 12. Yeah, it doesn't look like much money's coming in. But, you know. I'll assign a worker to there. So, mail 333. Where do you currently live? So you are, you're pretty much in the right spot anyway. That's fine. You're, you're not going to move for that, are you? Uh, deliver berries. There we go. Take that. And then we can unstockpile the berries. I mean, that, that may be the problem because we weren't, I, I think that means it doesn't sell them. So let's give us 200 gold. Again, we're kind of, we didn't really need that gold. We're sitting pretty much full, full coffers, so to speak. But yeah, all I'm looking at is that is that final number of clothes. We are selling clothes. So this market here has got berries and fish. I'm going to edit that and add in a goods stall to the market that's going to start selling clothes as well. Because I think people over here are going to start wanting clothes. Uh, let's do a, a, green, a green hut on that one. There we go. And hope that everything else comes in. There we go. That's that done. We'll have two weavers working in there. And the weavers are going to require something to weave, which will be this one. We kind of work backwards on this uh, production chain, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. Let's have a look at the desirability, which is down here. Desirability levels for residential. Yeah. See, it's starting to get a little bit grim here. But I'm hoping that this that this setup here starts to fill in all of this space. You know, plenty of space here, look. Housing, housing. I mean, look how densely populated this area is in the town. There's no reason why this can't be can't be as well. Turn that off because people get a bit fed up with that. Uh, oh, I think I did this off camera as well. Just started neatening up some of the little pods, uh, filling these in with that stone stuff. Just to kind of make it look all nice. Uh, two people decided to join. So people are joining. We just need somewhere for them to live. So we're waiting on tools there. Are we, have we run... Oh no, we've got tools in stock. I was going to say, have we run out of tools? But no, it's okay. The army's doing a good job, I think. This Is this making any money? Let's have a look here. Market. Uh, oh, there we go. This week... 17 cheese sold. So cheese is going alright. That's good. That's good. Very seems to have two wells awfully close to each other here. Hello, we got any serfs? Yeah. Promote them. Uh, and we'll do a few commoners just because we've got that much cash sitting around. We might as well. Anyone who's like level 5 or 6 can get an upgrade. Okay, no promotions for today. Farewell. Yeah, these two wells seem pretty close to each other, but all right. We'll let it slide for now. Uh, this market up and running. There we go. So we'll put you to be clothes. Um, set somebody to work it. There we go. And the sheep farm's done. There we go. There's already a shepherd... Uh, done there. Five. Five sheep, same as same as all the others. Watch you don't get burnt up there, sheepy. 
Okay. The house is upgrading already. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's a good spot to upgrade, actually. Okay. Interesting. There's, they can still kind of see the paths. Oh, here's another thing I did as well. I think I did this on camera. So I put a little fence around here a little to make it almost look like it's a, a planted thing rather than just, you know, there's berries in the middle of the town, which is a little weird. Okay. Right, I think it's time that we started to come in here and, and edit this a little bit then and have a look at it because we want it. We want to make this look nice. Right. That house is... Oh, there's a house. Where's that popped up? Oh, okay. That's fine. By the market. Okay. What about you? Yeah, you're over there. That's fine as well. Okay. Good spot for housing, I suppose. Not too sure why you're all stuck here and not spreading into this space, but you know what? That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Okay. So... Let's have a little think about this. Don't really want to affect the the witch tower there. I want to kind of leave that as is. For now, at least. It may end up going. Uh, okay. Okay, edit. Um, so we've got this stone set now, which I'm, which I'm much, much more excited about. And there's a lot, big door into the place, look. Yeah, and then also, what what walls have we got now? Small stone wall, let's look at you. You're no good, are you? Large stone wall, I think you've got wood all around you. Tavern wall? See, I think tavern wall is probably going to be the one we use. Oh, oh yeah, we've got these new ones, haven't we? Iron fence with light stone. Yeah, that that's... There we go. Okay, iron fence with light stone. So, let's... Um, uh, control and left click. Let's get rid of all of this. Uh, I'll leave that for now because, like I say, I'm unsure as to whether or not we uh, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. So let's um... now. There's got to be a way of of clearing up this area easier than that. There's got to be a there must be a bulldoze tool, is there not? Well, okay. So, I mean, really, I want all this to go, but I, I do worry that if we do that, what happens to the treasury capacity? Yes, it just loses it. That's the problem. So, anything that's got treasury in, we'll, we'll leave for now. Um, and we'll get rid of, yeah, all of this. Oh, man, this is a long process. Okay, I'll come back when all of this is cleared out. Okay, cleared all that out as best I can anyway. So we're going to have this still as a, an entrance point here. And the, these awesome uh, stone gates that I think will work really quite well sort of open. And also these don't really cost anything either, which is nice. So we'll have, uh, there we go, another iron gate there. Okay, so this, this space is open and, and, and able. So we have these tombs as well. Let's have a look at these. These look pretty good. I don't quite know where one of those would go just yet. Um, pavilion. That's, see, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Maybe right in the, in the middle. We have one of... The, oh, it's too far. You're too far from that building, right? Okay. Oh, well, that can be easily fixed. Let's have a look at this. So we can do this this whole pathway, but that seems a little bit intense. Um, the base is quite nice. Uh, pillar. See, all these are good. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, though. Uh, okay, let's... Get, what, about the, what about some of these? That's quite nice as well. Okay, so here we go. Then as, as, as you come in... There can be a courtyardy thing here, right? So I'll have you there, and then what goes on you? Is it one of those? Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Okay, one of those on there, and then you get to the pavilion, which can go there. Imagine these buildings on the rise aren't there. We've got to kind of work around them, okay? And for now, we'll say that's that. So, um, start. Okay, they just that just happens, doesn't it? So now, in that pavilion, we need to now go into uh, monuments and build a uh, Lord's Manor. There we go. 
So these are the mandatory bits. Um, so there's a core. There's a. Uh, what does it need to have? No, it just says it just says door here. Look, so maybe we don't have to have mandatory bits. I don't mind them, but I would rather focus on these buildings here, main stone building. So main stone building. Okay, so let's do main stone building here. Right, and we'll bring it right up. There we go, to make it look the part. Extension A um, can be taken off the grid and put in there. And again, we'll bring that up. Oops. There we go. Um, maybe one more. Okay, uh, big stone door on the way into that, if we can. In fact, no, that needs another building out of it, doesn't it? Uh, I don't mind the wood extension, but... How about something like that? Because we need to up the treasury as well, right? So... Let me do something... So that sits in the middle there. Oh. Uh, oh, we can have a citizen. Yeah, let's do that. And promote all the serfs. There we go. Okay, so let's put you roughly in the middle. There we go. And we'll have to edit that to see the rest of it, I suppose. Because I really don't know what the re what the rest is going to look like. Um, but this does will need a tower, won't it? So let's put one of those in. quite maybe even a little too grand you know there we go that looks good oh there's also a stone tower that I think would probably look better elsewhere so how about we put you there and you can be the um, the, the corners of this new land so you can go there Yeah. Okay. This is gonna have to definitely be a be, be a built-in um, built-in parts type thing. So it needs a door. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, let's let's put a door in the side of the wall there. Okay. So there's no major upper construction, but it's mostly stone planks and tools, and it's gonna cost us twenty-six gold. That's not much. There we go. So let's click go on that, and then hopefully we can sort of transfer over the coffers from one to the other. I don't know whether whether we'll be able to, but otherwise that seems seems doable. Um, okay, we'll have a look what that looks like as we come past. Okay, that's done, and we've uh, added in some of these fences as well. Looks pretty good, doesn't it, to start off with? Anyway, I mean, this this building will end up being uh, larger, I think. And the problem is I can't really see what I'm doing <laughs> until I'm on this one. So I'm going to click into this Lord Manor, click on Parts here, and select all of these to be Treasury. Uh, treasury, Treasury, all you, Treasury, Treasury, all of you, Treasury, 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 all of you, up to five grand, perfect. So now I should be able to click this one. And just bulldoze the whole thing, I think. We just need to redo the bailiff. Oh, no, I don't want to bulldoze it because I quite like some of these pieces down the front here. Um, so let's go to edit. Uh, no parts, even. And then, oh, yeah, all of this stuff now can uh, can go. Yeah, 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 delete. Uh, is that it? I don't know, it might be it, actually. I think everything else is that is that old, is still that part. Okay, so... Next up, then, let's clear some of these decorations out for now. Though these may well go back in for now. I don't wish them to be there. Okay. Uh, right, so this building, um, it's not very grandiose, right? It needs to be, it needs to be bigger, it needs to have more going on with it. So, let's come in and edit it. Uh, first things first, I think this one here has to go. So, where are you? Yeah, that there. Sorry, you 
for now, I have to go away. There we go. Uh, Lord, there's a prediction that bad weather is coming. Oh, great. Just, just as we were getting over stuff. Okay, let's pause the game while we do this then. So that door has to go as well. Where are you, door? There we go. Delete. Okay, edit. Now we can add on some bits and bobs here, make it look all lovely. So we have this core building. That's no good, is it? Uh, there's the wooden core. No, I definitely think... I definitely think these main stage buildings are the way to go. So let's click those in. There, as best we can. I guess that's it there, okay. Right. Let's move it over a little. I don't really know whether this is the the way to go with it or not, but for now at least we'll we'll try it. I quite like that one sticking out a little there, so we'll maybe we'll do that at the back here. Just to provide it some more space. Okay, and again this is all increasing that uh that initial bounty, which is good. Um Okay, do we want uh do we want another little tower? Maybe we want another little tower here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and then where's that? Where's that big doorway? Let's see what that looks like. I do. I love this big doorway. It doesn't seem to want to go anywhere though. Look at the size of it. Um, I suppose the only the only fix is to is to oops. So not move that, but bring it up. But then you're getting into dodgy. Really dodgy clipping ter territory, right? With that, so that kind of works. There we go. We can even snap that into place there. Look at that. Okay. All right. I'll gi I'll give that the benefit of the doubt and say that that's okay, like that. Um, now we need um, stables which we can build from uh, here. There's some nice stable buildings out of that set, so we'll do that. Um, otherwise, we need a, a, a water on a water basin in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, chimney! Yes, this of course we need a chimney on this. So there we go. Let's do something like that. Uh, oh, that's that's a. Uh, That's one of those ones, is it? That sticks in. Okay, that's fine. Um, quite like the water fountain. I do know what we're we're, we're going to have another one of these here, aren't we? That's what we're going to do. And have another one of these here, really sort of really sort of go crazy about the size of this build. How does that look? That looks all right, actually. That looks all right. I think what it really needs is another one. I, th I think this is going to have to move because I think this needs to have another one of these here, like this. Oh, see, the problem is it's just not going to. No, it's not going to sit right, is it? Okay, we'll ignore that. And instead, we'll put one of those on the end of there. That, that's fine. That's, yeah, that's okay. All right, so we'll say. We'll say start construction on that one. It's going to need some polished stone, but otherwise... Uh, yeah, we'll say start construction on that. Okay. Okay, the storm is here, unfortunately, but we did just get this uh, this building up finished off, and I think that's really good. I actually quite like the tiers of roof there. I think that fits it really quite well. So I'm going to come in very quickly then to finish off, go to monuments and go to our wooden key and have a look at some of the... Uh, some of these sort of stably type buildings we can do here. So, um, uh, I think it's going to be something like large porch. Yeah, there we go. That's that's kind of what we want, right? That's this is the sort of stable stable building. In fact, in fact, in fact, let's put a uh, is it just a solid box? Yeah, let's put that on there. So the horses have got somewhere indoors to go as well. So here's where you would come and uh, hitch your horsey. You would hitch your horsey on there, and you would have a, a, a large porch. See, here's the problem: this these porches, small porch, they're all a bit, <laughs> all a bit massive. Uh, okay, well, I tell you what, let's do large porch. Let's put it there, and then can we just put them both down there and just bring you up? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so there's our there's our space for the horses. Uh, I'm going to have a few 
training dummies along here, despite not really needing them here. I just I think they look good. I just think they're, they're a cool looking thing. And it's the sort of place where you would have a few uh, members of staff come and uh, train themselves up, you know. So we'll have some weapons on the back wall there as well. Okay. And we'll say done to that. Uh, we don't have a core, that's right. So what we're going to do here is put the core down. Mm, all right, put the core down. There we go. To start construction and then come back into the edit now parts and remove the core. Uh, which has gone to core. There we go. And the rest will still get built. There we go. So that's how you trick it, by the way, is if you, in case you're wondering. If you want the place to just have a few little buildings, uh, that's how you do it. Um, so, yeah, not quite sure what to do here. Maybe just bring this down and, and, and have the and have the the, the uh, this fence around it. The problem is we do have these berries here that we are going to have to work around as well. So we have to think about that because we need those berries pretty much. Oh, well, we could probably manage without them, but I... I don't really want to be getting rid of berries just, just for the sake of that. Uh, so the next thing we need to do then is come into here, go to Fantasy Decorations, and click on uh, these awesome large stones. Okay. And we place those uh, like so. Now, what these do is create areas around them that have a uh, path on them. So we can do this. Like so, and uh, so fill all this area in. We'll do the other half when we know more the sort of shape and size of it. But if we do this and then click go, uh, I'll deselect that piece. I click go. There we go. Then we can come back in and just delete them all. But they keep them there. So that's how you get nice big. Uh, I know a lot of people were asking about that one. That's how you get nice big, uh, big areas. So now we'll come back into fantasy decorations and then we'll place down some of this cool stuff uh, oh a guillotine might be nice here actually or a gallows or something probably the sort of space you would come and watch from actually that's that's a really good idea John T good work <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're coming here we're gonna add some we're gonna have lots of crates and and, and all sort of things like that uh, to really sort of fill the place out I like that chopped wood thing on the side of the building there let's get one of those over here that looks cool There we go. Um, so we need... Uh, these are good tubs of water. These are good for the animals. So we'll get a couple of those in. There we go. Now I don't... Uh, oh, actually, it's even better. We have a, a trough there. Look, let's put a trough down for water for the animals. I don't think... Uh, let's put it out here so it's visible. I don't think there's an actual... Um, let's go for the, more, the smaller hay. There we go. Hitching post, but a hitching post would be would be pretty neat here. Um, I don't know. So that, that's that. So our new military missions available. I suppose a couple of these sort of fences coming out can kind of act as as hitching posts. Right, so that's pretty neat. Uh, and then relay them. Oh, there's even a, 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 a stump for chopping the wood up. Look, there we go. This is going to be the uh, small logs. Jeez, they're huge. Small logs. There we go. That's more like it. I mean, they're still pretty. They're still pretty huge. They can come over here. That's where the wood, wood, wood gets chopped up. Let's have a look. I think a cauldron outside the uh, the the what is a witch's hut is pretty good, and probably a a, a little cat hanging out as well. It's going to be a good thing. Cartwheel. All these little bits. They add just so much uh, to the to these buildings, I think. Uh, wheelbarrow. Yeah, all this sort of stuff. I just love, love the flavorfulness of this, placing it all down and really getting some extra detail with it. Uh, so here then, let's have a, a barrel like uh, like it's been to get been filled up. I mean, you don't want loads of necessarily loads of clutter around because you know this is this is still meant to be where the where the king is living or where the manor lord of the manor is living you know so you don't want it too messy i quite like these sort of flower pots though let's have some of those and i believe we can 
uh, there are small flowers that will fit in those. Perfect. There we go. Let's have those ones and um, teal as well. There we go. That'll look lovely, won't it? There they are. Uh, oh, that's just a different flower pot, is it? Okay. There we go. Some more stuff here stocked up. There we go. A uh, couple more barrels, perhaps. There we are. This is all just storage. Okay. Let's click start on that. Look at that. I mean, it's such a simple thing. But I really do think it starts to make the place pop, you know, all these little bits of detail. So there we go. There's half the manor. And we've also added some, uh, like I say, what did we add? Maybe off camera did I do? Oh, no, we did tailoring down here. So we, so we now should have decent stock of t-shirts, which is better than it was. We've also added another um, uh, bakery in here as well because we, were, we weren't doing too hot on bread. Now we've got loads, which is good because um, the berries are going to be running low. So, uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, before the next episode, I'll let this storm pass. But uh, I think definitely the first half of the new manor hall is, is looking pretty good there. But, yeah, definitely need to, uh, to add it on even further and, and add more to it. But, yeah, excited to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.